wonderful to have these facilities so close to downtown Aarhus. So two matches played and two matches won by Japan. Our next match is the second ranked women's singles. Sayaka Takahashi, the left hander for Japan, up against a teenager, the 19 year old Putri Kasuma Wadani. So, as far as these two players are concerned, well, Sayaka Takahashi will loss records, but to put that into perspective, 20 finals, 16 titles won by her. As far as Wadini is concerned, just one title from one final at senior level. So we wait for the announcements of the players on to centre stage. And there's two courts empty at the moment, as you can see, there's only action on court number three. And I can tell you that that is the other Group A tie in the Uber Cup, France against Germany. And I can tell you in that tie, and that's for third and fourth place in this group, uh, they are one all after the first two matches. Takahashi, 29 year old left hander from Japan, making her second Uber Cup appearance after playing in Bangkok. In fact, she was selected for five matches at third women's singles, including the quarterfinal, semi final, and final. But those knockout matches, quarterfinals onwards, she didn't actually play. Selected but the tie was decided before her fifth and final match. So to her opponent, who's at her first Uber Cup campaign, Putri Kusuma Wadani, caused a sensation earlier this year by winning the Spain Masters Super 300 event. Age just 18 at the time, and ranked 200 in the world. So to win a world tour event, bursting onto the scene, that really was very impressive. So I can tell you this will be a first meeting between these uh, two players. And our court officials for this one, Rajiv from India and Philip Ayang Chi from America. So that confirms what I've just told you. Toss of the coin here from umpire Rajiv. Oh, another Japanese player that wins the toss and says they want to receive. Simply don't understand that at all. Even when there's very little drift in the arena, as is the case here in Aarhus, there is always a difference in ends because natural air currents with warm air rising means that one end will place slightly differently to the other. And it's interesting that Dani has chosen the far end of the court to start. So she thought the ends were important, as in do, do I. Well, the left-hander, Sayaka Takahashi, as I was telling you, 29 years of age from Takaoka in Toyama Prefecture. And she's been as high as 10 on the world ranking, a total of four weeks across three different spells. And she has won three World Tour events from three World Tour finals. The biggest was the Singapore Open of 2018, 
which was a 500 event. Her opponent, Putri Kasuma Wadani, is just 19 years of age from Tangrang, western suburbs of Jakarta. And I wouldn't pay too much attention to her world ranking at the moment uh, because she has only played seven tournaments at senior level towards her world ranking. And this is in fact her second week at a career high of 126, but she's a much, much better player than that, I can assure you. So, as I was telling you earlier, our court officials, Rajiv from India and a young chi from America. So as far as the two players are concerned, they both played two matches so far in the campaign. For Wadani, she beat Spori of Germany on Saturday, 21-11, 21-17. And then yesterday beat Leonis very convincingly, 21-9, 21-8 in under 30 minutes. Sayaka Takahashi play, also played against Spori. That was in yesterday's match against Germany, but on Saturday against France had beaten Marie Bedomen. 21-13, 21-10. So both of these players, two matches played in this year's campaign and two matches won. And one of them is going to lose that 100% record. And incidentally, this lady in Bangkok, I was telling you that a selected for five matches, only had to play two, and she won both of her matches in Bangkok as well. Indonesia, represented by Putri Kusuma Vardani. And on the left, Japan, represented by Sayaka Takahashi. Indonesia to serve. Love all. Play. So, Indonesia in the form of Putri Kusuma Wadani, far side of the court, getting this second women's singles underway against the left handed Sayaka Takahashi. Oh, that's a lovely block early on from Wadani. What? There's no line judge on that line, and it was the umpire that made the call. Yep, yeah. well, Huadani is saying, well, I want to challenge them. Because the umpire made the call, and she begs to differ. It's a question of whether it was wide of the centre line. towards the giant screen at the end of the arena. Yeah, caught the line. It was in, that's a great challenge. Challenge the umpire's decision. Did that well, Takahashi. Yeah. 
Jody Solo. Five, one. Uh, that took a deflection by the neck hold. Relaxed hitting style, Wadani. Yeah, look at that beautiful stroke production. Mister, on the left hand, the back level. Around the head, cross courts, half smash, all about angle and placement. She won the Spain Masters Super 500 events. She beat Lena Christofferson of Denmark in the final. Yeah, good body smash. But I have to say, I was pretty impressed with Wadani at the Sudaman Cup in Finland recently because she had three games against Mia Blickfeldt, top ranked Danish women singles player. And I thought she played well in that. Missed it. set of the rally with the return of serve. That one. Yeah, that's clever. Held the shot to the last moment before flicking it over her opponent's head. And Wadani was looking for the net reply. Totally deceived.
Not only technically a good shot, but the courage to be committed enough to play that. Oh, delightful shot, the cross court net shot from Sayaka Takahashi. And she goes to the mid game interval. Look at this. Just sort of caresses it or guides it across court. Hardly looked as if she was playing a shot, as if she's not thinking about hitting the shot. It's just more of a thought process of placing it. They have a man in the advantage here at the mid game interval. that Madani needs to be a little bit careful here because I sense that Takahashi is beginning to stamp her authority on this opening game. another one that's just held and flicked. Rigani needs to put more pressure on her opponent within the rally so that she can't get to the net first. I know that's easy to say, harder to do. Takahashi. Yeah, that's great length on the clear from the left hander. the last 12 points now to Takahashi. Last perfect length from Madani. from the teenager Wadani as she came forward I thought momentarily 
she'd missed her chance to play the kill on that loose block, uh, just guiding it across court into the open space. equally as good this time from Takahashi. tight spinning net shot from Wadani. It's a super angle. Game point opportunities for Sayaka Takahashi. It's gone wide, converts on her first opportunity. 21 14 opening game to the left handed Sayaka Takahashi. 14 minutes for the opening game. So Sayaka Takahashi won game to the goods for Japan and if she wins another game in this match against Wadani then Japan have won the group. They would have won this tie and they would have won all three ties within Group A. So they will be seeded at the quarter-final knockout stage but we haven't got there yet. Still time for the young Indonesian team to come back. Uh, she needs to tighten up her game if she wants to win this one. Putri Kusuma Wadani. Two points, two errors from her racket. Oh. 
Three mistakes from her racket. Dani can take comfort from the fact that she led in the opening game for love. Her opponent led for love in the second and the fact that her opponent came back from love four down to actually win the game should give Wadani a little bit of heart. Not that players think in that much detail, they're focused into the match point by point, literally point by point. stockings on her calf muscles aids the blood circulation mm, good pace from what Dani in this rally yeah, off balance on that last one trying to command the rallies a little bit more, Wadani. No, and it's paying dividends. Short. 
Yeah. Quality net shot from the left hand to force the short lift. And then the easy opportunity to play the winner. Point advantage at the mid-game interval in favour of Sayaka Takahashi. making inroads as far as the score is concerned. Putri Kasuma Wadani. She was right there, so presumably she's pretty confident. And she got it wrong. That was plumb on the line. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. So the solo. Eight eleven. Play. Just wide. She's still within touching distance. This is more than possible for Wadani. If she can just keep her composure. What a shot. She didn't dare to challenge because she's only got one challenge left.
Just one point in it now. Oh, it's just wide. Well, that's a pity from an Indonesian perspective. opportunity from Sayaka Takahashi. She is beginning to feel the pressure. And that's gone wide. And she's back level. And when you consider that she was five points adrift at uh, 3 8, 5 10. She has done well, Madani. And now into the lead. Well, well, well. I thought it was possible. Angle. Short. Yeah. The lift or attempted lift from Sayaka Takahashi caught the net cord, which meant it popped up right into the hitting zone of Wadani. of the last seven points for the Indonesian. Oh, that's a good smash. And she was under pressure there. Scoreboard pressure, that is. for the openings. Smashed down the backhand side of Wadani and followed forward. Good play. And now Takahashi back into the lead. But not for long. in that rally, Takahashi, from the onset of the rally. 
as she rushed the return of serve, pushing it straight at her opponent. Jamming attacking the play. For Wadani after the rally, little stamp of her feet. Yeah, because now her opponent, a two point cushion and two points away from winning the match and therefore winning the tie for Japan. the frame of the racket an attempted kill yeah they yeah. cost her dear yeah a wry smile from Sayaka Takahashi Sayaka Takahashi. She hadn't been fully committed when she had the opportunity coming forward to the net on that first one we've just seen. And she could have perhaps played the kill, missed the opportunity, and then gets the neck cord with the drop shot. So two match point opportunities for Sayaka Takahashi to secure the tie and the seeded position in the quarter-final knockout stage. Yeah, well played, well saved by Putri Kasuma Wadani. point opportunity for Takahashi. Yeah, this time, second match point opportunity is converted by the Japanese number two. And that a victory 21 14 21 19 that gives japan the overall tie having won the first three matches but here in the group stage the two remaining matches will be contested 37 minutes in total for her victory sayaka takahashi this is the final rally it was the second match point opportunity There, read the front court shot. Yeah, it was her opponent having to play a backhand from deep in court. I discussed that earlier on. 
And you know a player is in trouble when they have to play that. So, victory for Sayaka Takahashi, 21-14, 21-19. So, as they take leave of court, uh, we can look forward to our fourth match of the time. It features two wonderful doubles players. One, a mixed doubles players player. It's Yuka Fukushima, the current world number one, and the Olympic bronze medalist, Arisa Higashino, up against Mawa and Saika. Welcome back to Aarhus, and this is the marina, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. It's not far from where we are at the moment. Wonderful day today outside. Sun is shining. We had a spot of rain yesterday, but it's absolutely glorious today. 